Hi guys, it's Pastor Dick. I'm back again. We are on our fourth lesson in the book of Exodus. We are in Exodus chapter 2. So have your Bibles open and I want to teach you a few things before we get started. Uh, some lessons on how to study the Bible. And this comes through many years of teaching and learning myself how to study the Bible. And I want to pass it on to you so you might apply these principles and be able to study the Word of God. I often have people come up to me and say, where do you get all the information? When you're preaching, you're teaching us, you're giving us background and history. Where do you get all that? Well, you get all that from study, but before the study begins, you have to ask the right questions. So let me give you, first of all, a tip concerning devotional reading. So if we're going through Exodus chapter 2 and looking at it devotionally, there's a set of questions that we need to ask. And I have taught this for many years. I, invented this back in Brazil and brought it back home and it even translates into English correctly. So we're using the Pepsi anacronym, uh, P-E-P-S-I. And so we're going to ask ourselves these questions in every passage of the scripture that we ever look at. These are good questions to ask, to draw out of the passage those things that God wants to, us to apply to our lives. So here we go. Um, consider P, uh, for Pepsi, P, the first question is, is there a promise in this passage that I need to claim? Is God making some emphatic statement of his faithfulness and, and uh, some promise that I can cling on to? The second one, is there an example for me to follow? Is there someone in here that is heroic and, and spiritual and I ought to follow in their footsteps? Or, contrary, is there uh, an example I should not follow? For instance, in our passage just this morning, uh, Moses kills an Egyptian. Well, I would suggest you not follow that example. It's just not a good example. Uh, so you get the idea. And the second P is, is there something I need to pray about? Does this speak to my heart in some way that I need to pray about some things in my life? For instance, in chapter two, we're talking about the sovereignty of God, the way God controls all circumstances. And even though we don't understand it, he's behind the scene orchestrating the good and the bad and the ugly for our good and for his glory. Uh, the uh, S is, is there a sin that I should avoid? Is there a sin that's committed here? Is there something uh, attitudinal or in an action that I should avoid? And uh, I is, is there an instruction for me to follow? Is there some specific commandment I need to obey? So you got Pepsi. P, is there a promise? E, is there an example? P, is there something to pray about? S, is there a sin to avoid? I, is there an instruction to follow? So I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, begin reading the Word of God, and even we're going to have this on our website so you can take it, uh, print it off, and have it in your Bible for whenever you do Bible studies. That's my first hint on studying the Word of God. 